Hi Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter Aquarius. This is your reading <laughs> for April 7th through the 13th. Um, happy new moon in Aries. We have a new moon or dark moon in Aries for two days. Um, so today is Friday. The video should be up today. Um, the moon phase at the beginning of the week is 6% in Taurus and then we go to 63% in Leo. At least where I am for the percentages, the moon still will be in from Leo to Taurus. I mean Taurus to Leo. Um, Jupiter goes on retrograde on the 10th, which is Wednesday. Jupiter rules skills, talents, and abilities, um, life lessons, extreme behaviors, and areas of overindulgence. So retrogrades highlight our life areas of our life where we need to pay more attention so this could be really fun and introspective or it could be really like um us you know what i'm saying facing yourself facing your dark your dark shadow <laughs> facing your shadow that's what it is um you could realize you have um some talents and skills and abilities that you didn't know about you could realize you have some overindulgence or some patterns and patterns of overindulgence or patterns of extreme behavior in some areas of your life either way I feel like it's gonna be a way um, a very introspective period for us and next week I feel like manifestation is just gonna be like at an all-time high so that's just me not for everyone but for a lot of people okay let's see what's going on with Aquarius universe divine spirit spirit guides angels archangels guardian angels Thank you for allowing me to receive the messages that I seek for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please allow me to read, discern, and translate these messages clearly for their internal intuition, guidance, and growth. Please show me what's going on with Aries. April 7th through the 13th. Aries. Aquarius. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. April 7th through the 13th. Excuse me, clear my energy. What's going on with Aquarius? Lately, the cards have been flying out. Reevaluate your priorities. Look forward. Let go and enjoy. Could be overthinking something. Um, that could be why reevaluate your priorities came came up. You need to reevaluate your patterns of thinking or areas in your life where you give your attention or energy. Let go and enjoy. And look forward. Look ahead. Look to the things you want. Think about the things you want to acquire, especially during. Um, the waxing phases of the moon. This is a perfect time to. Um, that's why I say I think if you, if you really like, if you meditate tonight or tomorrow night on the things you want, you do, you know, your your full your new moon, dark moon ritual, whatever that is for you, if you have one. Um, and you think about the things that you want to receive, while the moon is growing and 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 in size during this, you know, phase, we get to more than half full by the end of the week like you could be manifesting some shit very quickly so let go and enjoy look forward reevaluate your priorities is your divine energy oracle guidance let's see if there's anything else for aquarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter shine your light every reading has got two cards that look alike shine your light look forward Reevaluate your priorities, let go and enjoy. I'm not going to read the descriptions from the book to save time on the reading. So if you want the descriptions, I'll send you a picture. Just connect with me on Instant Go or Instagram, please. So you can go back and screenshot the cards so you don't forget what they're called. All right, let's get some Romance Angels guidance. From Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter universe. What's going on with them? April 7th 
through the 13th. One more. It's the guidance for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, Universe. It's the guidance for Aquarius. April 7th through the 13th. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic con connection attraction here. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have trust. Oh. Oh. Worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. Ask for and accept support of others. Okay. Chemistry. Strong magnetic attraction. Trust. You need to have trust. This situation is calling for you to have trust. Trust the divine divine timing. Trust in divine timing. Trust in the divine plan. That's one of the oracle cards, but um, in my divine energy, that there is an oracle card that says that. You didn't get that card, but that's the same energy I get from, from these. And then let go and enjoy. Trust. Chemistry. Let your friends help you. Go out with your friends. Have fun. Let go. Divine timing is at play in your love life. Trust it. Chemistry. You got chemistry with someone. Strong chemistry. Okay. Let's get into your reading, Aquarius. <clears throat> Our universe. Please show me what's going on with Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. April 7th through the 13th. Show me their week. Show me the week for Aquarius. One more shuffle. I, um, I hurt my hand some kind of way. I don't know how. I have this horrible cramp in my hand. Like, and I'm an esthetician, so I use my hands in ways that most people don't. So it's very easy for me to pull something or strain something in my hand. Um, I need a hand massage. Something serious. So shuffling is hard. That's why I mentioned that. So Y'all probably like, why are you telling me? I don't care. Shuffling is hard. Sorry. <laughs> Show me Aquarius this week. April 7th through the 13th for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me Show me their week, universe. What's going on with Aquarius? What's happening with Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. April 7th through the 13th. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a good uh oh. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh! Anything else? Oh! Okay. Okay. There's time for some union. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. This single lady and this single fella are coming together because it's time. It's time. You're done hanging around, waiting. Um, but it's worth waiting for. It's worth waiting for. So this could be some of you coming together really quickly right now. Um, some of you, maybe not yet, trust in divine timing because, you know, you are still hanging around. Maybe waiting on a new perspective, but while you're waiting, you're not hanging. You're not just waiting. You're doing something. You're not waiting in vain, but somebody's coming together. Because this, this represents like, they both represent contentment and stability. This is, you know, earth energy, water energy. But together, coming together. <sighs> That's lovely. There's a lot of con chemistry. But this situation is calling for you to have trust. Trust in divine timing. I feel like a lot of you probably are hanging around right now. That's Neptune energy, Pisces energy. The Wheel of Fortune is all about luck and fate, divine timing, Jupiter. Karma, serendipity, new relationships, and chance meetings. So for a lot of you, it's time for a new relationship. For a lot of you, um, divine timing is at play while you're hanging around. So trust it um not yet 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's delay. This is also intuition, letting go, detachment, suspension, sacrificing to divine timing. Sacrificing. Like, um, submitting. That's what I want to say. Submitting to divine, to divine timing. It's like accepting like, okay, it's not time, whatever. It's not time to come together yet for some of you, but some of you are coming together. And that's lovely. Either way, either way, divine timing is at play. So it's beautiful. <clears throat> okay. Let's look further into the person Aquarius is dealing with. Who is Aquarius? Who is Aquarius dealing with? It's, oh. Hmm. This is somebody you see a happy, bright future with. Um. I think some of, some of you realize you want to plan a future with someone. With the tower moment, some of you are realizing you want this with someone. You're having that um, intuitive moment with the star card. This is your card, Aquarius, by the way. The water bearer. I think some of you are wanting... Um, okay, because let me, let me scoot back. The Three of Wands is about planning. This is Sun and Aries, manifesting dreams into reality. Fruitful effort and cooperation. So I feel like a lot of you want to come together and cooperate with this person. There could have been a tower moment in the past. So the tower moment is about breakdown and, and illumination. So let's talk about the tower. Mars energy, crown chakra. So this could be very well um, having a revelation about a situation or a person. It's also disruptive change, unexpected thoughts and feelings. Um, or also being being humbled. It's a collapse of an ideal or, or way of thinking. It highlights what needs to be seen though. The impact could be shock shocking. So you could be having a shocking revelation about someone that you have chemistry with um because look at this card i think it's a shocking revelation i don't think this is a bad tower at all and i feel like you want to plan you want to manifest this and you're realizing that that shocking revelation is like oh like oh i want to marry this person or i want to be with this person forever because this the star card is about hope and guidance and look these cards come right after i just kept looking at these when they came out and i wanted to pick them up together these cards come right after each other the star card and then i mean the tower and then the star card and the major arcana but again aquarius energy Guidance, healing, tuning into creativity and self-expression, also spiritual messages and synchronicities. You could you could have gotten a shocking spiritual message. Like a shocking this could be it. This reading could be it for you. Like, oh my god, you could think of someone when you read I mean when you read this, when you watch this and be like, Oh shit, like this is my this is my ten of cups. This person like, we have a whole lot of fucking chemistry together. Like, look at this. Um, you could be having that type of shock and revelation about someone. But I feel like this is definitely um, a lot of intuition at work. Synchronicity. You could be having a lot of synchronicities. Um, healing, too. And hope. I mentioned that. Okay, so that's the person. Well, that's the person you're dealing with. They could. This could be them having a shocking revelation about you. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Sorry, sorry. I feel retarded. Yeah, <laughs> somebody is planning. They have a shock. They've had some shocking revelation about you. This is your card, Aquarius. Duh. Okay. Let's get some more insight on this person that Aquarius some of you Aquarius though you could be having the shock and revelation 
Um, but someone, if you're dealing with someone else, someone's having a shocking revelation about EU. Two more shuffles, universe. Show me more about this person Aquarius is connecting with. Who is Aquarius dealing with? Show me more about the person Aquarius is connecting with. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Hierophant. <clears throat> the Hierophant, Three of Cups, and the Devil. Oh, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, all these cards popped out? Okay. The the uh, descriptions are really quick, so I'll, I'll get into all of them. So, the Hierophant. In traditional tarot, that card does represent union and marriage also. But this is a caretaker of spiritual knowledge, teaching others what you know, a way to a mm, a way to a greater understanding of the world. Pay attention to details. So yeah, you could be this whoever this is. Yeah, this is yeah. You could be having spiritual revelation revel. That's so hard for me to say. I don't know why. Revelations. You could be having spiritual revelations also. And if if it's a twin flame or soulmate, that's a spiritual path. That's, I mean, that's a spiritual connection. So, same shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is the high priest. You know what I'm saying? This is... Either you're teaching others what you know or someone's teaching you. Someone in your life is taking on this role or you're taking on this role for someone else. Then we have the Three of Cups. I'm here to be celebrated. Connect with the energy of shared celebration. Raise your vibrations with others. Enjoy the moments with friends. So yeah, I think you are going out and having some fun. You're letting your friends help, me, help you. You're letting go and having fun enjoying life then the devil card i know it talks about embracing your inner trickster but let's see come on I am the master deceiver and it is time to break the spell. It's like, I get, with this card, you can't bullshit a bullshit. It's like, embracing your inner trickster, giving into, into temptations and making choices on um, impulse rather than desire, desire, deceiving yourself. Could also be feeling hopeless. I think this is you indulging a little bit, being a little bit impulsive. Um... But having fun, just kind of like letting go and not not being so uptight. For some of you, this could be a bad thing. Everything is okay in moderation. It's all about balance. Um, give in to temptations. Certain temptations, maybe. Like, temptations to... If you're tempted to go out and enjoy time with friends, yes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If you're tempted to um, go out with your spiritual advisor or something, yes. You know what I'm saying? Those type of temptations. Let's look at the Seven of Pentacles. I am carefully bringing things to life. Um, the patience and kindness required to grow and sustain a life of value and beauty. So, yeah, this is all about patience. Pentacles are slow. You know, when you plant a seed, the fruit is the last thing to bear from the tree. Granted, it's a fruit tree, right? That you planted. <laughs> um, this is all about having patience in the work you're doing. Being patient with yourself and being patient with others. This person. This person. Because this is the person you're dealing with. 
or this is you if that that part resonated with you take what resonates y'all all right let's look at Aquarius's overall energy what's Aquarius's overall energy Page of Swords and Queen of Cups. You could be having a lot of new thoughts. Oh, crap. The Devil card showed itself. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could have Capricorn in your chart. Any other energy for Aquarius? What's the energy for Aquarius? Okay. The Page of Swords and the Queen of Cups. It's like I get mature emotionally, but maybe not mindfully. Maybe you feel like um, a page when it comes to enlightenment, when it comes to this spiritual advisor energy. This could be the person you're connecting with. It could be a spiritual advisor. Um, but the queen is warm. She's loving. She's kind. She's emotionally intelligent. She follows her heart. And I think this is you following your heart to gain new perspective the page of wands i mean sorry the page of swords sheesh yeah paying attention to detail contracts documents and other valuable information coming your way this is someone curious engaging in a childlike spirit so i think this is some of you probably are embarking on a spiritual journey and you're following your heart to seek you know to go on this new adventure of obtaining new knowledge because the swords is mental energy air energy um so that is gemini aquarius libra cups energy this cup i mean this cup this queen is that aquarius energy no gemini cancer yeah all right let's look into oh let's get some star material inside on you Show me more about Aquarius's overall energy universe. Show me more about Aquarius. The alien. I'm going to take that one. Show me more about Aquarius. Someone rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me more about Aquarius. shuffle universe show me more about Aquarius six of cups the alien the alien in this deck is I'm going to lie to you the hermit yeah yeah going into hermit mode this is also um, going into hermit mode to like learn things, to study. Um, know your worth. You are perfect the way you are. Be free. Seek answers within. Mm, I love that. Go deeper and understand more of the universe. Yeah, this is a lot of you going on a spiritual journey. Um, and you're, you're, you're that those tower moments is realizing like the truth about everything. You know what I'm saying? Time to take, hold on. Take the time to do something you've never done before. That's what I mean by giving to temptation. That's what, yeah, those, yeah. That's what I mean by giving to temptation. <clears throat> like, and let your friends help. If you have friends who are, you know, into the things that you are becoming privy to, then let them help you. Let them guide you. Go out together and explore this knowledge together. And, and also have fun. Let let go and enjoy life. Because once you start going down your spiritual journey, it gets heavy. It gets deep. So you have to still have fun. Yeah, indulge in imagination. Keep a childlike sense of wonder. Reconnect with simple forms of expression. Excuse me. So yeah, don't, don't get to a point where you feel stuck. Continue to express yourself. And we're all just 
children living in grown up bodies. You know what I'm saying? So like, that's beautiful. Let's get your um, advice. Even though I feel like that was pretty clear. Let's get some advice for Aquarius Universe. What's the advice? Any advice for Aquarius based on this spread? Any advice for Aquarius based on this spread? Oh, oh. This came out in the reverse, <clears throat> separate from these two cards. Yeah, I feel like this is Temperance and Ace of Wands. Um, new desires, new starts, new beginnings. Um, but there's balance and equilibrium or a need to acquire balance and equilibrium or maintain it with the Temperance card. It's all about balancing your emotions. Um, balancing the heart and the mind. Um, this is fire energy. Aquar I mean, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, creativity and inspiration. So yeah, same energy of, of this card, being creative and inspiration and, and inspired and finding new ways to express yourself creative creatively. Um, being progressive and inventive, the beginning, birth or transformation of something. I feel like this is your spiritual transformation. This is, yeah. 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 Aquarius, this is your spiritual transformation. For a lot of you. I can't find your freaking card. Oh no, this is Sagittarius's card. You may have Sagittarius in your card. In your card, in your chart. But this is very similar to the star card. With the water, you know, the water bearer. So I feel like um, this is, I still feel like this is your energy though. You're having a spiritual transformation. Um, and But do this in moderation. Um, it's also partnership, negotiation and balance. I need to manage volatile factors or people to keep control. So I feel like this is balancing the information that you take in. Um... Maybe finding a fun or creative way to do it so that you don't get overwhelmed because it is very easy to do that. Let's get some more advice for Aquarius. So temper yourself, balance yourself, you know, do things in moderation. That's what I would, that's what I would um, conclude from these two cards. Any other advice for Aquarius based on this spread? Any other advice for Aquarius? Someone rising Venus and Jupiter. Any other advice for Aquarius? Okay. The star card and the moon card. Ooh, yes! I love this. The moon is all about, um, like, dreams and or nightmares. Um... But things come in, um, secrets coming out, coming out of the darkness. And then the star again, this is your card in the star material deck. You're having an awakening. That's lovely. A lot of people are having awakenings. I've been kind of mentoring people. I never saw myself mentoring people, but I've been kind of mentoring people lately. Um, so please reach out to me if you kind of don't know where to go, where to seek um, information. I can definitely teach what I know. Dream big. Allow inspiration to guide you. Step out and enjoy, and enjoy the beauty of the world. Share your gifts and shine brightly. So yeah, with the Six of Cups too, um... Stepping into your power and being very creative. And then the moon. Very next card. And the deck. I perceive the truth through the inner veil. And it's reflective. The dark uh, the dark reflects 
and distorts. Face your fears. Embrace uncertainty. Pay attention to what your dreams say. Let your subconscious guide you. That's gorgeous. I love it. Because the alien said to seek within. Let your subconscious guide you. We got the Hierophant. We have the Moon. We have the High Priest. We have the Star twice. We have the Devil. We have the Hierophant. Flew way over here. You're definitely having a spiritual awakening. Um, for some of you, you could be having an, awake an awakening about a situation or a person. Um, but you're definitely, I feel like you're definitely channeling spiritual messages. You're getting messages in your dreams. You're being intuitive. But definitely seek within. Be creative. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're stepping into your power. Which is all which is what the spiritual journey is all about. Learning who you are and stepping into your power. But the star card twice? What? Temperance? Will of Fortune? Divine timing? All this happiness? Fulfillment? Coming in a union with someone? You could be meeting someone who could be putting you up on game. Who knows? Let me know how that um applies or resonates with you, Aquarius, in the comments, please. Thank you for liking, comment, subscribing. Um, tuning in, sharing, all that great stuff. I appreciate y'all being here. I hope it gives you some insight and guidance on your week ahead. And I think this is a beautiful reading. I do. I really do. Um, I don't know what else to say, y'all. Let me know if this resonates with y'all. Connect with me on Instagram and Instagram. And until y'all see me for the second half of April's readings... Peace, love, and night. Bye, Aquarius.